Part 3 Video 5 Present video is about working of turbine, how it rotates and helps in electricity generation. As we know steam turbines are huge machines that extract thermal energy of steam and converts into mechanical energy. Its impact on turbine blades causes rotation of turbine shaft on which blades are mounted. Shafts of turbine and generator couples together. Therefore rotation of turbine causes rotation of generator rotor also. This action produces electricity. We are in turbine hall and can see all three turbines namely. HP turbine. IP turbine and. LP turbine. The superheated steam coming out of final superheater is also known as main steam. The main steam enters HP turbine at high temperature and pressure, say temperature at 540 degrees centigrade, and pressure around 130 kilograms per square centimeter. Energy of steam causes rotation of turbine blades and shaft. Rotation of turbine shaft rotates generator shaft coupled with it which generates electricity. Steam goes over multi-stage blades of HP turbine and expands. It reduces temperature and pressure of steam. Here, pressure drops from 130 to 28 kilograms per square centimeter. Steam at HP turbine outlet is called cold reheat. This cold reheat is sent to reheaters to increase its temperature. However pressure remains almost the same as cold reheat. The reheated steam is called hot reheat and is sent to IP turbine inlet. From IP turbine steam goes to LP turbine. After expansion in LP turbine the steam pressure as well as temperature goes very low. We can say on the verge of condensation. Finally this low energy steam is sent to condenser for condensation. This condensate water is reused as feed water. We can see that HP turbine handles 130 units pressure and IP turbine handles. 28 units of pressure. Due to this HP turbine size is smallest as high pressure steam requires lesser volume than low pressure steam. LPs are the biggest in size because they have the lowest steam pressures which require bigger area to handle the steam flow rate. Different parameters are tabulated for reference. However these may vary depending on type, design, capacity of the system. That's all for today's video. Stay tuned for more such informative videos.